Are the things that you are saying causing unity or division? Hello, my name is Josh Nichols, and this is Monday Minute, where we get your week started off with some of that ultimate truth. Come on! Let's get started. Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably have noticed all the negativity going around in the world right now. Look, cut the music, cut the timer, cut it out. Church, we are called to live in unity. We are called to be the example, and we are called to love one another unconditionally. But all I see right now is just a lot of negativity and people just hating on one another. We don't need to let our opinions outweigh what God's Word truly says to us. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3 says, Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 says, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. So are you creating unity or are you creating division? How are we supposed to be the example whenever we're hating our brothers and sisters in Christ? And how are we spreading love whenever we're just spewing garbage all over the internet whenever it We don't agree with what they have to say. And finally, in Psalms 133 verse 1, it says, How good and pleasant is it when God's people live together in unity? Look, I get it. You have an opinion. I have an opinion. It's all good. That's fine. See, in the grand scheme of things, my opinion or your opinion doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what God's opinion is. And God tells us to love one another. Understand that everything that you say and do not only is a reflection of yourself, but it's a reflection of your church and the body of believers and God himself. So I encourage you, spread love, not hate. God bless.